I watched a video yesterday of this lady. She's walking to a store, and uh, she's got flip flops on and a skirt, and she's just walking. It's like a security camera, and then she stops, and she puts her hand over her butt, and then she walks a little further, and she stops again, and you can see her like clench her butt cheeks, and then she like looks around, and then shit falls out <laughs> of her skirt onto the ground, and she moves away. Have you seen it, Jamie? Yeah. That poor lady. Did they show her face? Yeah. Okay. You want to see it? I don't. (laughs) Because that will be me one day. That was almost me on the way here. (laughs) This poor lady. I saw that. I was like, oh, my God. Talk about a surveillance state. And also, another thing that you've seen a significant uptick in on TikTok in particular is the filming of strangers without their consent. Yeah. That woman, these people, oh, this guy's got... And it's always done in the name of comedy or to catch someone. It is. What's this one? Only she's blurred out. No, this is a different one. Somebody stepped in it. Oh, God. I, this is a different one. Yeah, it's, it, I've seen it Revolting times, moments. Scroll, scroll back up. Well, Revolting funny. moment. Lady poos on the floor while walking through lobby before unsuspecting man steps <laughs> in it as she runs off. So does she have, like, no underwear on? She's just shitting? Yeah, let me see the... You kind of know you're doing that, don't you? I think, I think. So this lady just walking, and she just, oh my god! Are we sure it's poop? She just, yes, she just shit as she's walking, and this guy just, oh god! How did he not see that? Well, how did he see it? Why would he expect he to see it. shit? He's just walking. He's right behind her. I mean, I the don't think the, she... the time between her shitting and him stepping in it is just like a second. Oh, that's awful. That's that's awful. That is. Imagine if he fell and it landed in his fucking clothes, and oof. Some dudes are into it. Oh, yeah, yes. Oh, Hortons, Sheila. Too. What's that? That's what happened at Tim Hortons, but that was a little bit more of a thing. Disturbing video of woman at She's Tim Hortons. Wait, why is disturbing place. in quotes? Well, this lady was. Oh, one. this lady shit against a wall. Yeah, she, yeah was. she was just crazy. Why is it? Why is it like disturb? Like some don't think it is. It's in quotes. Like allegedly, it's disturbing. Oh, we could, disturbing in quotes. No, yeah. Why is that in quotes? I don't know. Why is it in quotes? But, it's definitely disturbing. I mean, you talk about lack of a right to privacy. Like, you are being filmed everywhere. By I think it should be illegal to film someone without their consent. But what about if it's a store and you're worried about people robbing them? I think you have a sign posted that says, just so you know, without them being aware. Mm. Like, you're consenting by going in that store. And if you're not doing anything wrong, it's not a big deal. People are just filming people. Right. That's a different thing. That's Yeah, the people filming, filming thing is kind of fucked. Because, like, people love to, like, stick cameras in people's faces and ask them questions. It's like, what are you doing, man? Yeah, there's no reason for this. I know TV. You gotta like hunt. You gotta wrestle them to the ground. And be like, please sign this release. Right. And these kids, these are you got 15 TikTok followers. You live in the middle of nowhere. Like, there's no one can come after you because you have no identity associated with your handle. Right. So there's a lack of accountability, and our laws are so glacial and archaic that we haven't caught up to the internet yet. Yeah. No, it's very weird what what our laws are in terms of that. The the, the privacy laws. It's very, it's very weird, because like, here's another thing. Like, if you buy a house, if you buy a house, people could just post your house and that you bought it, and people oh Google God. your address instantaneously. I There's know no laws on that. I know it's happened to you. It's happened to me, and it happens to everybody. It's but especially as a public figure, and we even reached out to the quote unquote writer that does it, and I'm like, they don't give a fuck. And and we try to say like, hey, I have a stalker. We have a case with the. Pl- police could you please not post she sleeps on the north end like here's where the master bedroom is like fine a picture with no reference great but they don't need to know the layout that i sleep on the second floor like they don't need to know that yeah there's just such a lack of accountability and awareness for personal safety particularly women's safety well there's no laws in, in regards to that like we need new privacy laws in terms of what you're allowed to put on the internet well and so people here would be like well get you a gun be your own law. Mm. Eh. <laughs> it's not that simple. I mean, y- you're you're opening up a door. You shouldn't have to defend it with bullets. You know, you shouldn't just because somebody decides to like post where you sleep. You shouldn't have to be like fucking cocked, armed, and ready. I agree. Every time you go to the bathroom, it's I just... sh- it shouldn't be news is the other thing, and it shouldn't. Yeah. You shouldn't be allowed. People get mad at us. If nobody ever goes after the media outlets, the outlet that posts the picture of your wife in a bikini on your you know, on your vacation, the outlet that says something about your body, the outlet that puts that out there. Somehow yeah. those writers, it's never about them, and it always becomes about the story. This is that's a shitty way to make a living is just 
pretending it's journalism, but really showing how fat someone got. <laughs> well, it is a vulturous way to make a living. There's a there's a bunch of articles that I'm seeing lately. Maybe it's just like my Google News feed, but there was articles are like of weird sh- like how is this an article like one of them was like a guy left a bad tip so the woman chased him down out in the street and confronted him and this is an article and i'm like that's an everyday time. occurrence if you're a waitress right like the idea that this is now a story but right. it doesn't matter because that's the kind of thing that makes people click on things because journalism is kind of fucked now because it's all about clicks because right. you don't really make a lot of money off of print journalism anymore right so the they, sensationalism what, of it yeah, so what they're getting money from is advertising clicks. And believe it or not, a woman chasing down a guy who left a shitty tip will get you just as much clicks as, you know, some climate change accord where, you know, some consortium of scientists get together. I'm changing.